The Thunder Wolf of Shattered Ground, Eustace, is a mid-range zoner that has a variety of projectiles that travel at different angles to hit normals, command dash, and sticky grenade. Eustace has strong neutral play, he can constantly harass the opponent with his numerous zoning tools that can also help him approach. Some of his specials can be charged which changes the timing of his hits and can leave him plus in many situations. Eustace is for players who want to control screen space and have strong pressure with a ticking time bomb. Eustace's unique action is State Tonight. 5U will have Eustace dash forward and attack with the barrel of his gun. This attack can frame trap from bar normals and is minus 6 on block. While this move is punishable if it's spaced, this attack also has a follow-up attack. Pressing 5U again will have Eustace fire his gun. This attack can be done immediately to combo or delay to frame trap off the initial hit. The follow-up can also be charged to increase the damage, frame advantage, and allow for combos with close light. The follow-up attack also triggers Heavy Rat Race, which keeps Eustace safe on block up close and extends combos on hit. Charge to 8, Slow Kill, fires a Thunder Orb downwards that bounces off the ground at varying angles. This unique projectile checks the opponent up close and can catch jumping opponents mid to full screen. All normal versions of this special can be charged which double the hits, significantly increases frame advantage, and deals more damage. And all versions will trigger Heavy Rat Race. The light version comes out at 15 frames, and the orb will bounce at a 45 degree angle. The special is better for poking at mid screen to lock down the opponent. The medium version also comes out at 15 frames, and the orb will bounce at a 30 degree angle closer to Eustace. With its close proximity, this version can be used as a pseudo anti-air and defensive wall. The heavy version comes out at 13 frames, and will fire both the light and medium orbs. At mid-screen range, the special can be used to cover both rushdown and patient play. The ultimate version will fire the two heavy orbs at the start, and then fire a third orb into the sky. All orbs will bounce off the invisible ceiling and towards the ground. This special covers the screen with hard to avoid projectiles, and is good for dealing chip damage. Charge for 6, Flamic Thunder, causes Eustace to crouch and fire a thunder shot. This is a standard projectile that can be used to poke from a distance. All normal versions of this special can be charged, which increases frame advantage, deals more damage, and fires a laser that has fast travel speed. Charge Flamic Thunder also beats out all non-ultimate projectiles and nullifies single-hit ultimate projectiles. All versions of Flamic Thunder trigger heavy rat race on hit or block. The light version fires the thunder shot at moderate speed. Use this version to react to the opponent's movement or catch crossovers and evades. The charged version comes out the fastest and will leave the opponent standing on hit. The medium version fires the thunder shot at faster speed. This is better as a poke tool in neutral. The charged version comes out 2 frames slower than the light version and causes a knockdown on hit. The heavy version will fire a 3 hit thunder shot at the same speed as the medium version. This projectile leaves Eustace plus on block and can extend combos on both standing and airborne opponents. The charged version reduces the projectile to a single hit blast that grants a hard knockdown on hit and wall bounces the opponent in the corner. The ultimate version will fire two 3 4 screen projectiles before firing a full screen projectile. The third shot will also wall bounce the opponent which extends combos. This is a fast and reliable poke that beats out single hit ultimate projectiles and has its uses for corner carry and combo extensions. 2 and 4 Close Combat is a command dash that has 5 different follow ups. These dashes travel a little more than half screen and can be used to apply block pressure or extend combos. The light version only goes for the dash. This version can be used to bake the attacks from the medium or heavy versions. Either from neutral or block strings, uses can go for strike throw pressure with a U or guard follow ups or fast low with the medium follow up. The medium version attacks with a knife swing when close to the opponent. Uses can only go into a follow up after the knife attack. This is a useful hit confirm tool that ends in a hard knockdown with the heavy follow up or extends combos with heavy rat race and the light follow up. The heavy version also travels the fastest of all the normal versions, also goes for the knife attack, and has enhanced follow up attacks that generally do more damage. Eustace can cancel into a follow up before the knife swing. With its faster speed, this has the same applications as the light version with strike throw pressure and fast low. The ultimate version is not a dash attack and goes into the heavy follow up. This is Eustace's 8 frame invincible reversal that ends in a hard knockdown. The light follow up is stun light. Eustace will stop and fire a quick flash. This attack is used to safely end pressure as it leaves a minus 3 or 2 on block. This attack does trigger heavy rat race which can either extend combos on hit or leaves him plus on block for more pressure. The medium follow up is takedown. Eustace will slide and attack with a low knife swing. While this move is punishable on block, this attack comes out fast and can surprise the opponent when performed from 204 light or heavy in neutral. The heavy follow up is Assault Knife. Eustace will perform an uppercut that acts as an anti air and combo ender or extender. 
This follow-up does have iframe on startup, but is only air unblockable from the heavy version. His attack is punishable on block, making it more useful as a hit confirm tool. At high heights, Eustis can juggle the opponent from any version of 2 and 4 specials into Assault Knife. This is also his highest damaging combo ender that ends in a knockdown and sends the opponent a little less than mid-screen. The U follow-up is Spread Shot. Eustis will jump backwards then fire 3 Thunderbolts to the ground. This follow-up is a slow attack used to bait out throw techs, mashing, and reversals, and is plus on block. The light and medium versions allow for combo extensions in the corner with far light or 2 medium. The heavy version is less advantageous on hit or block, making it less ideal to use during 2 and 4 heavy. This attack also triggers heavy rat race. The guard follow-up is break. This will cancel the dash and must be performed before the strike for the medium or heavy versions. While slow, this follow-up can be used for strike throw mix-ups, opponents expecting to block the initial slash to be grabbed. And once you condition them with the grab, you can use the U follow-up to bait throw techs. 6-3, Rat Race has used this throw a grenade low to the ground. The speed, arc, and properties of the grenade change depending on the version. This is a poke and set play tool. The light version tosses a yellow grenade that will either explode on contact with the opponent or after bouncing once off the ground. This has the slowest startup of all the versions. This can be used from space normals to fish for the plus frames or in neutral to control ground space. With its slow startup, it can also be used to bait out evades from the opponent expecting the medium or heavy versions. The medium version tosses a blue grenade that comes out faster than the light version. Eustace will also toss the grenade faster and further, reaching full screen. The grenade has an initial physical hit and a secondary explosion. This is a strong tool to use in pressure. If the opponent constantly blocks, Eustace will remain advantageous and can lose his block string pressure. The heavy version will toss a red grenade that has an initial hit. On hit or block, the grenade will stick to the opponent, indicated by the flashing red light. Eustace will toss a grenade at the same arc as the medium version. If it touches the ground, it will not stick to the opponent after the bounce and will explode with a hitbox. Up close, the special leaves Eustace plus 2 on block. Most of the time, Eustace will use this special after grabs or other knockdowns to safely apply the detonatable blast. The grenade will stick to the opponent for 5 seconds. If the opponent blocks or is hit by an attack involving a gunshot, the grenade will explode and deal chip damage or launch the opponent for a combo opportunity. Moves that trigger 6 3 Heavy include 5UU, Bar Heavy Heavy, 2 Heavy Heavy, Dash Heavy, Jump U, Slow Kill, Flamic Thunder, Stun Light, Spread Shot, Grabs, and both Supers. This is an important set play special that extends Eustace's pressure and grants new combo routes. More on this in the next section. The ultimate version tosses a green grenade that does not have a hitbox. The grenade is tossed close to Eustace and barely reaches mid-screen. The grenade will bounce one time before exploding and hitting the opponent three times. This is an expensive set play tool that is mainly used after knockdowns to set up Oki. When done in the corner, the grenade will not go off screen. Eustace's skybound art is Acid Rage Howl. Eustace will go for a 3 4 screen dash attack. On hit or block, he will follow up the initial slash with 4 more attacks. This is a typical combo ending and reversal super that also deals an additional 800 damage if the opponent is marked with 6 3 heavy. Eustace's skybound art is Dead End Fall. Eustace will fire a multi hitting beam at a 45 degree angle. This attack can hit opponents close and is air mockable. This super works well as an anti air, so it will deal more damage and go into a cinematic on close hits. This super will also deal additional damage on opponents marked with 6 3 Heavy. By utilizing his projectiles, Eustace dominates neutral and takes control of the screen. From mid to full screen, he can play back and harass the opponent and deal chip damage. Up close, he can pressure the opponent with 2 and 4 specials, frame traps, and tick throws. And Heavy or Ultimate Rat Race sets up strong Oki and mix ups that keep him safe if blocked and can be comboed off of on hit. Eustace's normals are fairly standard, which means he has consistent ways of converting hits and challenging close range pressure. Farlight is a standard 6 frame mid that is plus 1 on block, a good normal for poking and comboing. 2 light is a low that comes out at 6 frames. This is a solid low check that frame traps into close, far, or 2 light. Far medium is an 8 frame mid hit that is good for poking and whip punishing. 2 medium is a 7 frame mid hit. This is an important combo tool with good reach and decent at poking. Far Heavy and 2 Heavy both have additional follow-ups that fire a short-range burst from the gun. These follow-ups are useful for forward checking the opponent after whipping the initial hit, but Eustace cannot special cancel these attacks. Dash Medium is a slow and safe on block overhead. This can be used with 6 3 u to extend combos on crouching opponents. Dash Heavy starts with a slide then fires the gun up. This move can go underneath certain projectiles, but is punishable on block. 
Darkness Normal does trigger Heavy Rat Race, which can extend combos and keep Eustace safe. Jump Light is Eustace's only cross-up Air Normal. Jump Medium is an Air to Air Normal, while Jump Heavy is an Air to Ground Normal. Jump U will halt Eustace's falling momentum before firing a disjointed shot downwards. Eustace will be sent slightly backwards when falling. This normal can be used to bait out anti-airs or cancel jump-ins. This move also triggers Heavy Rat Race. When it comes to zoning, Eustace has a projectile that covers each situation, but you must pick the correct option to avoid getting punished. Flamic Thunder works as a standard projectile. This is a versatile tool to use in neutral, and block strings, and end combos with the heavy version. Slow Kill is more situational due to its awkward angles. At round start, using the heavy version covers aggressive options and idle opponents. The charge version of this special should only be used when spaced properly. Depending on the matchup, some characters can struggle to challenge Eustace during his block strings. Rat Race is his most consistent projectile that has a good knowledge and reaction check tool, helps re-establish pressure, and can be used for Oki. The medium version will be your go-to neutral and block string tool. While there is a gap between the physical hit and explosion, blocking this move is advantageous for Eustace. If the opponent blocks both hits of 623 medium, Eustace will be plus and can continue his pressure. If the opponent tries to challenge with a fast normal or DP, Eustace can bait out the attacks and let the explosion counter hit them. And if the opponent jumps, you can anti-air them or play the full screen game and zone. Heavy Rat Race is an important special that can be implemented in combos or after knockdowns. After triggering 623 Heavy, the general confirmed will be either close heavy up close or far or too medium from a distance. Eustace can combo into 623 Heavy after hitting the opponent with close heavy, full auto combos on crouching opponents, and counter hit medium normals. He can then confirm into 2 medium and 2 and 4 medium light to extend the combo. Eustace can also use this special in neutral, block strings, knockdowns, or combo enders to set up pressure. Using this tool in neutral can be difficult since the opponent can simply evade. There are generally better options, but this can be done raw if you have no other tools at your disposal. As mentioned earlier, this special leaves Eustace plus 2 on block up close, which extends his pressure. This is a reaction check that can be punished with fast normals. After knockdowns caused from grabs, assault knife, and other enders, Eustace can use 63 heavy to hit the opponent on wake up. In most matchups, the opponent won't be in range to use a reversal to punish Eustace. If the opponent tries to evade, Eustace can use charge for 6 medium to punish the opponent. Lastly, Eustace can end his combos on airborne opponents after using close heavy. These routes are rare, but can be applied when comboing from a strong starter. Ultimate Rat Race is another important set play tool that is best used in the corner. It is important to use this special in neutral after a knockdown or air tech to get the meter refund on hit or block. With this special pressuring the opponent, you can use the low-high auto combo enders to mix up the opponent. Go for a grab, which will deal more damage with the explosion and refund 25 meter. Go for a throw or brave counter bait and punish the opponent. Or you can go for a fuzzy setup with a falling jump heavy into jump light. Eustace might have dominating neutral and pressure tools, but his projectiles cover specific parts of the screen at any given time. His pressure resets up close require good reactions and proactive defense to dissuade him from looping and relying on charged specials and grenades. Eustace also doesn't have a meterless reversal. Once he's on the back foot, he struggles against pressure and has to rely on brave counter or mashing to get out. Eustace may have many projectiles, but they can all be evaded or crossover to avoid chip damage and plus frames. If Eustace uses ultimate slow kill to poke, wait for the two orbs to bounce off the ceiling, then evade to avoid all three hits. All versions of Flamic Thunder can be evaded or cross over. Without Heavy Rat Race, Jump U is punishable on block. You can run up and use a close normal or dash light as he lands. All normal versions of Rat Race should be avoided. If you evade the initial hit from the medium or heavy versions, the grenade will go past you and Eustace will generally be negative. Eustace will hold the grenade behind him before he throws it. The main color to look out for is the yellow grenade since it comes out the slowest. If you see yellow, cross over immediately, and you can punish Eustace with a close light or medium. If you end up blocking the medium version, there's a gap in between the two hits. There are many options to get out and challenge Eustace, but it is on you to make a move. You can backdash, jump, or throw out a normal or reversal. If you are ever caught in the 63 heavy or use set play situation, you can always use a brave counter to push Eustace back and destroy the grenade. Takedown is punishable on block. Up close, the special is minus 9, which can be punished with both far mediums. Spread shot comes out slow and can be punished in many ways. You can jump forward in reaction to when Eustace jumps, attack with an air normal after he fires the thunder shots, or land, then use a close normal. Evade once Eustace reaches the apex of his jump. Depending on the timing, you will be plus 6 to 10 and can punish Eustace when he lands. Against the skybound arc, Evade will dodge the hit and prevent the four follow up attacks. 
against the Super Skybound art, cross over to avoid the blast and use a close normal for a counter hit starter. Some useless players to watch are Marias, Ohaku, and Hakuk. 